the Four Noble Truths. Buddha's first teaching after his enlightenment was on the Four Noble Truths. You might like to take this opportunity to reflect on them in this 10 minute meditation. It may inspire further investigation. The first Noble Truth is known as the Noble Truth of Suffering. This is not to take an overly negative view of life, but just to acknowledge the difficulty is as much a part of the human experience as happiness. Whether it is sickness, ageing or death, or our mentally difficult experiences, Examine briefly the suffering involved in life. Recognise that it is not wrong to suffer. In fact, it is quite a natural part of human life. All people experience suffering. Second Noble Truth <clears throat> is that suffering arises in dependence upon causes and conditions. They may be external causes and conditions that result in difficult experiences. The conditions outside of us can affect our happiness and suffering. From a Buddhist perspective, there are also internal causes that affect our experience of happiness or suffering. For example, ignorance, attachment, anger and other emotional attitudes. Briefly reflect on the internal and external causes of our suffering and examine some life examples.
The third noble truth is the cessation of suffering. It alludes to the fact that all conditions change and are impermanent. Therefore suffering too changes and has an end. Likewise, it establishes the possibility that there um, that we can be free of suffering. The highest ideal might be considered full awakening or enlightenment, but even in everyday life it might mean if we create skillful causes and conditions in our life, difficulty can be overcome and our lives may be more positive. Let's briefly reflect on the cessations of suffering. The fourth noble truth is the path leading to the cessation of suffering. And creating the causes for peace and well-being. The Buddha referred to the Noble Eightfold Path of Skillful Views, Skillful Intention, Skillful Speech, Skillful Action, Skillful Livelihood, Skillful Effort, Skillful Mindfulness, and Skillful Concentration. It is possible to create the causes and conditions for a satisfying life. It is possible from a Buddhist perspective to overcome the underlying causes of suffering which bind us to problems. We can abide in a lasting and more stable peace and well-being. Briefly reflect on the fourth noble truth and then conclude uh, your meditation.